Hello, uh, my name is Douglas Rumbaugh, and welcome to episode two of my rehashed Linux command line basics series. As I mentioned in the previous episode, today I'm going to talk to you about working with directories, uh, by which I mean, of course, creating them, renaming them, removing them, things along those lines. So I'm going to head into that tutorial directory that I mentioned earlier. and. Uh, I forgot to mention this, although I used it a couple of times in the last video, clear. I'm sure you've by now figured out what the clear command does, but just in the interest of being thorough, the clear command wipes the display clear. Uh, okay, so inside of our tutorial directory, we have a couple of files, but there are no directories. Uh, if I do an ls-l, you'll note there are no d's here but say I wanted to create a directory. Well, for that, there is the make directory command, which is designated as mkdir, make, or mkdir, make directory. And all you have to do is specify the name of the directory you would like to create. And as you'll see, we have created a directory inside of our working directory. Now, the make directory command works based on the same sort of pathing system that change directory does. So when I said that I was going to make directory tester, I passed it a relative path. It assumed that it was going that the it assumed this first part, the slash home slash Douglas slash tutorial directory, and then stuck it in tutorial directory. If you really wanted to, you can use an absolute path. Uh, so I could go, for example, slash home slash Douglas, the uh, tilde, tutorial directory, and then test directory and say test2. And if I were to go into test directory, you'll see that I did indeed create the test2 directory within it. Now I'm just going to make a second directory here to illustrate a point called test1. Um, if I wanted to delete a directory, you use the remove directory command, that is rmdir. And once again, this uses absolute path or relative path. Uh, for our purposes, I'm just going to use demonstrate the relative path. So I can say remove directory test2. And it will not prompt you to confirm that you want to delete it, but that's not a huge deal, as I'll show you in just a moment. You'll note, of course, that test2 has been deleted. Now there is one drawback to the remove directory command. Okay, and that is that if I were to try and remove directory on my test directory, it won't work because the directory is not empty. Now at this point I have two options open to me. I can move into test directory, if I can type correctly, and I can use remove directory to delete test1. And with test1 deleted, test directory is now empty, so I can use remove directory on that one. But rather than that, I'm going to demonstrate to you another method of deleting directories. And that is to use a command called remove, rm. Now I will talk about rm more extensively in my next video, because rm is technically for removing files. But it does have one option that is useful when working with directories. Um, the dash R, which stands for recursive, essentially, put simply, all it does is it deletes a directory and everything inside of that directory. So if I were to do an RM dash R, I would be able to delete test directory even though there are contents in it. And you'll note that it asks me, oh, are you sure you want to do that? So you'll just want to hit Y and continue. Test directory is gone and everything inside of test directory is gone. Now, one more thing that I would like to show you. This is going to be a fairly quick video, but I do want to segment it off from the files uh, just to help with organization and whatnot. And that is renaming. Now, in Linux, there is no rename command per se. Instead, what you have to do is use another command, which I'll cover in much greater detail in the next video, uh, and that is the move command, mv. 
So what the move command is going to do is it's essentially cut. Uh, it takes the input file, which is the first thing you pass it. This is the first command I've shown you that's going to require more than one argument. The first argument is the input. In this case, it's the name of the directory that we would like to move, test directory. And then the output, which is where it places it. So we can use move, of course, to take test directory and put it inside of a different directory. But for now, we're just going to use it to rename. So all we have to do is, without specifying a different directory, just leaving the path to the directory that's currently in, not specifying anything special, we could change the name. And you'll note, all it's doing is it's taking test directory and moving it to test one. So it, the net effect is that it serves to rename the file or the directory in this case. All right, one last thing uh, for completeness' sake that I didn't necessarily mention in the last video, which I should have, is Linux is case sensitive. So I'm going to make a directory called test2 here. And I'm going to make a directory test1 with a capital T. So you'll note I have test1 and test2. They're two distinct directories except you know they're both test but one has a capital T in it. Uh, if I were to try and for example change directory into test2 with a capital T it's not going to find it. So again you want to make sure that you stay consistent with your capitalization. I like to leave everything lowercase as in this file dash one dot txt versus uppercase just because it's easier to type things in without having to involve the shift key the same reason that I use a hyphen instead of an underscore in file names. I'm lazy. Uh, pick a convention that works for you and stick with it. You'll save yourself a lot of heartache in the end if you do that. Okay, so just a quick review. Uh, we covered how to create a directory using make directory followed by the path to the directory that you would like to make. In this case, we'll just say test three or test four. We covered removing the directory with rmdir and then of course the path to the directory you would like to delete which only works on empty directories and we also covered removing directories with the rec recursive remove which is going to delete directories containing things and everything inside of that directory as well as you can of course use it on just a plain old empty directory as well and it's going to work the same. And we also briefly mentioned clear command to wipe your display clean and using move to rename a file. Okay, uh, this was a very quick video, but again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just setting it off on its own to help keep it organized. Uh, most of these same principles are going to apply in the next video, which is dealing with files because on Linux everything is a file so it, the system treats directories as files technically it's a little it's a slightly different way of thinking but that is really all that I have for you today I wish I had a little bit more but <laughs> I suppose it is what it is um, as always if you have any feedback comments suggestions please leave them in the comment section below I will do my best to attend to them in a timely manner. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time when we meet back to talk about files.